Look at my Dobermans. What are you guys doing? Oh! Yo, what is going on, Beast? It's your boy, Facecope, and we're back at it again with some more Call of Duty Vanguard. Day one of the PlayStation beta has concluded, and I've got a ton of highlights to show for it. In the background, what you guys are seeing right now are a ton of clips. I actually got some nice four pieces and some five pieces um, with the pistols and obviously with the Mosin um, that you guys are seeing right now. So drop a like for that. There's way more where that came from. So what I wanted to talk about really quick before I let the gameplay just flow in the background. There's a few things that I wrote down that I found were pretty broken. Uh, and some and things that I just thought didn't really flow well uh, when it comes to Vanguard multiplayer. I mean, after all, that's what the beta is for, right? And like I said in the previous video, it's Sledgehammer we're talking about, so they're gonna take all of our feedback as long as it's you know constructive criticism and we're not being total asses about it. Um, there's a few things that I got down, not a lot, but three things that I really found that were pretty broken that make the Vanguard multiplayer experience a little bit rough, um, and that's minimap plus the ghost. I don't know if this is just because the default classes all have have ghost on and on top of that the minimap not showing the actual red dots unless you have that perk 2 on that actually shows the radar and gives you the radar like every other cod but the minimap plus ghost at the same time there were multiple occasions in this game where i was literally running around in circles because i did not know where anybody was on the radar i couldn't see anybody firing because i didn't have the perk 2 on and on top of that since everybody had ghost on i swear there was a there was a couple games where i didn't see a single person on the minimap once and I was running around I just couldn't see anybody I couldn't find anybody on the radar it feel it felt like as soon as I ran to one side of the map they all rotated back to the other side of the map and, and so on and so forth so the minimap plus everybody having ghost I think that'll be a little bit better when people don't run ghost I guess because like I said the default class for many of the classes in this game all have ghost on and you combine that with the minimap it's it's rough but that was one of the things the other thing is man I don't know how they're gonna balance the fire rounds there is incinerator rounds on every single gun man i just don't know look in world war ii the fire shotguns were bad enough man those things were straight out of hell but you combine an mg42 with fire rounds and an explosive round like come on man it's it's like come on sledgehammer don't do this to us man that is od it is crazy so i hope they take into consideration that the fire rounds for machine guns and everything else is way too crazy i mean hell keep it for the shotguns i guess the shotguns fine because they did it in world war ii but please please for the love of god take it off of the ars and the smgs and the lmgs it gets way too crazy the other thing is it's not really too much of a big deal if you guys take a look i'll, I'll try to get an example on the screen right now the kill feed actually cuts off at the end you can't see the six kill on the kill feed it shows only half of it i know it's not too big of a deal but i just wanted to point that out because i know that it, it does it's, it's kind of weird it just looks weird and it looks like a little bug in the kill feed so i i did write that down just for future reference but overall man those are the three things that i really found right off the bat this is just my day one experience i played for about six to seven hours and those are the things that i found overall man i'm having a ton of fun on sniping i just cannot wait to play on pc man because playstation 5 it feels good don't get me wrong the console guys and especially since console is going to have fov vanguard will have an fov slider for console when the game fully releases so that's going to be amazing but i just can't wait to play this game on pc man but i'm having a lot of fun i was playing with dirty i was playing with jev last night we were playing for a, a long ass time and we had a ton of fun on it we just can't wait to use the mosin when it's got full attachments man we can't wait to use the car the car 98 we're going to be able to unlock that soon but let me know what you guys thought for all my playstation players let me know what you guys think of the beta so far give me your number one piece of 
constructive criticism. That's not skill-based matchmaking. I know a lot of people will say skill-based, but I don't think that's up to Sledgehammer. I think that's up to Activision, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon, unfortunately. But give me your number one piece of constructive criticism for Vanguard so far, if you guys have it. And then also give me your favorite thing about the Vanguard beta so far. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys are about to see is my best gameplay on Vanguard. Almost a 60 kill game on Red Star. I was playing with Dirty, and I was playing with Jev, and I popped off. I cut out a lot of the kills so you guys can see them, and the gameplay flows really well. So hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to leave a like. The Vanguard videos will keep flowing. I love you guys, man. Deuces. target. Hold the zone. We have the advantage. That's the scabby pin! Watch. 